winter, the National League East teams excelled at attempting to get better and making people think they got better, but failing to really do so. Sure, the Mets signed a closer that saved 62 games last year, but he's also got a rising whip and a declining strikeout rate. J.J. Putz might have been a better pickup than K-Rod, but who do you think is going to close? And how much better is the Mets' bullpen? Really? And the Braves, their pitching staff is much better. But where are the runs coming from? They dropped Mark Teixeira from an offense that scored only 753 runs last year. Is Garrett Anderson the answer? No, he is not. Are the Braves contenders? And the, then there's the Phillies. Their strategy to improve this offseason apparently consisted of replacing Pat Burrell with Raul Abanez, who's worse than Burrell, only they're paying him more money than Bur Burrell eventually signed for. That, and having Cole Hamels remind everyone over and over again that the Phillies won the World Series. Did you know the Phillies won the World Series? They totally did. And that makes a crappy offseason okay, right? Finally, we've got the Marlins and the Nationals. The Nationals are coming off of a 102 loss season, and their GM just resigned amid a swirl of ugly accusations. The Marlins are full of young players, which is another way of saying, Ryan Zimmerman and Cameron Mabin will be worth your time to watch, but there's no place on earth worse to be than a Nationals-Marlins game in Miami in August, which is why no one is ever there. And the worst part about it? I think the East is probably the best division in the National League.